Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Oxygen Not Included, aka the ongoing tales of uh, me trying to figure out my power related problems. I've been reading the comments and they have been quite helpful, actually, which should, probably should not come as a surprise at all. Um, one of the things that came up that is definitely just like undeniably true, and I had not considered, is that uh, this. Hydrogen generator when it pumps was pumping into the grid and that was pushing power essentially back to the batteries Which is something I should have picked up on but just didn't uh, and that was leading to a lot of the wires becoming frayed and uh, the, the circuits overloading which I assume is gonna still continue to happen even though we've refactored that but we'll see um, These are still working from time to time which is important and the circuit overloading is still the wire bridge So we still need some way around that um, it's definitely high priority for us to get over here and uh, and and get to this coal though. It's a nice coal vein. We can run on that for a while, but uh, we kind of need to do that before anything else I think really gets done. Another thing that people have suggested is uh, our setup here is not great. The deodorizer is probably fine, um, but we should move the deodorizer. Like just put a deconstruct order on, and this doesn't have to be done right away. I think move it. Over here and put this as a priority like seven for now. What's the mining at? It should be priority nine. I think it's priority nine. But anyway. We can't see that for some reason. Um and then Oh, we don't necessarily even have to move it now that I think about it. We could just put like a wash basin here. It's not a perfect solution. Is uh, I thought it was in plumbing, but maybe it's in medicine. Yeah, um, we could put a wash base in here. The idea being that once they come down here and get a little germy, they wash when they leave. And then as a result, um, they don't contaminate the rest of the base. So let's just make that like a seven. And then we'll leave the deodorizer uh, there. Excuse me, Ruka. We'll leave the deodorizer there uh, for the time being. The sweeping should still definitely take place. But again, that I think is a priority five. We're getting our way out of this colony right now. Or out of this spin. We do have a problem uh, that hadn't showed up before. We're running out of water here. We still have a ton of water here, but it's difficult for us to put in a pitcher in a way that is uh, that is going to work well for us. Not a pitcher, a pitcher pump. Whatever it's called. Um, one thing we could do, and we still like desperately need coal but I was thinking we could put a water pump down here pump this contaminated water into this basin but I, I don't know if that's appropriate overall so we should probably uh, start looking for another water vein and and one of the ways that we could do that is there is one right here we'd have to build up through a vacuum and there's a non-aggressive uh, unit that creates slime right here um, but how are we gonna get the water from here what is that steam geyser no idea, dude. Um, how are we going to get the water from down, from up here down into the bottom part of our base? One thing would be, you know, a, a network of mesh tiles. But that seems like it's probably not the shrewdest solution. What might be smarter is to, like, build through it. And then we could pipe this water down. And the piping is built out of sandstone. So we definitely have the resources necessary. We would build, But then we have to build copper wires all the way up here and like there's got to be a solution that's better but i don't know if it has anything to do with with touching this contaminated water right now and running a water sieve because it just seems like it's well i mean to be honest with you it's a geographical or a geometrical problem right now because we have like a really thin line of contaminated water and i would need to pool it into like a single basin that maybe like three by three or something like that so we can get a good pump set up but uh, it's going to cause problems right now because, I mean, as you can see, buildings lack resources. We have zero kilograms of water in reserve right now, so how, how are we going to solve this problem? There's still some water here. I guess I mean, water is probably a priority nine, even more so than our, our dig order right now, which I think we'll just set as priority eight. All right, I think, I think I've got my agenda for now. We do still need to fix our power problem. The fact that we continually have overloaded wires is just continuing to get, uh, you know, it's leaching resources out of our system. I didn't even realize there's a uh, hydrogen gas just chilling up there. 
Yeah, so, um... At, like, a priority seven... Just build two of those in there. Get the airflow to, to take it up here. It's pretty nasty up here, I'm not gonna lie to you. Units are holding their breath for a reason. Uh, and the pitcher pump has been disabled, so I'm just thinking, like... How on earth do we at least create a temporary solution to get more water immediately? And the honest answer is that kind of flying by the seat of my pants. This seems like an acceptable possible half measure. What we would want to do after we build this is get a quick dig order in like here here and then like here here here. The idea being that the water will cascade over and we can maybe get like another few cycles of water out of this. But it's a uh, it's a little cumbersome. Let's just be real right now. But again, a lot of our success and or failure pretty much hinges on coal right now as well. So, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm feeling the burn through a couple of different areas right now. So, you can make another mealworm seed. How's our food right now? 28,000. That's actually fine. Fine enough that we don't need to worry about it for the time being. Now, this water is not going to last uh, forever. You also do need to dig... And in fact, maybe we should quickly build a ladder down, because you you do need to dig these out. I think the pipe right now is presently... Well, not in a great situation, <laughs> would be the way that I would describe it. Why is the pipe... Why does no pipe exist? Probably because now the ladder exists, right? Immediately deconstructed. Hey, 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 there we go, okay. Um, Alright, so how do we actually run this? I can't believe I, I may have figured this out. Uh, we're gonna priority 9, a ladder down here, and then priority 9, deconstruct these two. Alright, so I think we've we've earned ourselves a little bit more time. No, no, wait. The deconstruction's already hap already happened. You don't you don't need the uh, you don't need these ladders anymore. Okay, great work, great work. Um, continue digging in here. We got the vacuum, the cold vacuum of space. All sorts of gases we do not really want are making their way out of here. We we need an airlock somewhere. Uh, probably we would like an airlock, and and these can be. Maybe like priority seven or something, but I think we want an airlock here and then like an airlock here because we have airflow tiles as well. But we want the hydrogen to leave, so we're kind of like breaking our own system by doing this. But like the carbon dioxide will still find a way down here. We could circumvent this system. Ah, I think I think this is okay. I think if we do it like this, we'll be relatively happy. And what's the, what's the point of doing this? Well, we're mining out this big area here. There's all sorts of chlorine gas, you know. There's gases we're not interested in. Oh my god, there's bleach stones. I should have noticed those ages ago, but to be honest with you, I've never seen them before. So, um, we want those bleach stones in order to give us uh, the ability to make hand sanitizer. I have noticed we're starting to get our immune systems up here. I'm not doing any research at the present time, just because uh, I, I don't think we need to prioritize it. Still constantly having problems with these circuits. So the other reason, I don't even know if I lampshaded this uh, at all, but the other reason uh, that we want to have, or the, the other reason we can have circuits that are overloading is because there's more power drawn, or requested rather. Drawn is probably a better term, but for my purposes. There's more power being requested out of them that they can actually generate without causing problems. So, it's really, if we look at our power overlay with a little bit more of an arithmetic sort of approach. Um, 500 and, why only 524 joules? Probably because you don't need any more than that, I suppose. But then why is it still, joules and watts are different. But I wish they weren't, because it would make my job much easier. Um, essentially, I think that the one that has the circuit... Uh, Bridge is asking for more. Now that I think about it, wait a minute. What are you at? 970? 
You might think I'm crazy. I'm gonna try something, and I, I'm not sure why this didn't dawn on me earlier. If it fails, we'll just undo it, but... What if we just deconstruct the bridge, uh, now that we have an another path that goes elsewhere? Well, I, we didn't need to... I mean, they're all summing at this wire anyway, so... We don't need to split it at all, in theory. Um, like, now that we actually have a path for the power to go that doesn't require the bridges because we built this way around here, the bridges uh, take less power. Or they, they can take less power come going through them, so... I feel like just by removing ourselves of that... We might be completely fine. Now the circuits are being overloaded here. <laughs> Overload damage. Is it every time the hydrogen generator pumps? It's not damaged anymore. I don't know. Let's look at our report. We generated oxygen. We generated calories. Stress went down somehow. Um, germs did go up, but... Not by much, I think. We're not generating any power overnight. No, these things aren't... Well, why aren't you... Because these batteries are out of power. I, I'm starting to understand. We should probably have the batteries set up to run on separate grids. Uh, like, there should be a disconnection here. This should go like, bum bum. And this should go... Oh, no, 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 no. We, that's right. It, each generator should be hooked up to three batteries and three batteries alone. But just by doing this, I think we're, we're actually making progress. Now, this... You should only uh, wash if you're passing by to the left. Does this mean... Use direct, is, if, if they're walking this way, they use it, or if they're walking this way, they use it? I mean, both ways is just going to cost us time. My... Let's, let's read it more carefully. It's like a Magic the Gathering card. Germ cover duplicates use wash basins when passing by in the selected direction. So they're walking left here, not from the left. So I think we want right. When they're walking this way, they should be using it. And they, they do need water deliveries, but hey, we got about six ounces of that. Um, so what, what's our... What are our big priorities right now? Well, we do have some coal. Uh, we're gonna need more. But we do have coal for the time being. Right now, I'm just stunned that we're approaching, you know, well, being two and a half months in. And yet, still... We're kinda, uh, rolling. Or, if not rolling, at least looking better than you would expect. Mostly thanks to the comments cluing me into some... Oh, no, 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 no. never mind. <laughs> we continue to be idiotic about our power. Another thing that was uh, suggested is that you can set the transformers. Yeah, okay. You can set the transformers to be a lower voltage or lower wattage or what have you. How do we do that, though? It's something I'm going to need to ask you about, I think. No batteries on this circuit. Well, I mean, I disagree. No generators in this circuit? Well, I mean, I disagree. Okay, so our, our strategy to avoid... ...using the, uh, the bridges has obviously failed. I'm not sure whether that means we need to rebuild them. I think what we need to do is actually refactor the grid. So let's, let's look at our line here. I think this is actually going to be what does it. I'm slowly piecing it together. What is your maximum power drawn from a wire on this path? Because, like, if I go over here, it says... Where's the, where's the circuit that's overloaded? Excuse me, sir. I know this is frustrating to watch, by the way. There's an overlay that gives us max power drawn. What I'm getting at is there's clearly too much power being drawn by our middle here. 
and not enough power uh, being drawn by our, uh, our hydrogen generated one. So we might as well add a couple more things onto the hydrogen generator. What if we build a quick wire here and then we disconnect here and here. That would mean that we're running the electrolyzer on the hydrogen grid, but the hydrogen grid seems to be holding it together right now. So, okay, let me go over priorities again, lest you think I've just turned idiotic. We have some coal. Uh, I think that it is in our best interest to perhaps issue a quick little ladder order at maybe a priority seven. And uh, do a little digging at a priority seven as well. We're going to want this coal. We also desperately need water. Water is a real concern. How are we going to handle that? I, I think it's like, it, it has to happen now, essentially. Uh, we want a water pump. But the water pump, it essentially, there has to be enough depth for the pump to actually get uh, the polluted water. The tainted tap water, if you will. So I think we gotta... And we'll, we'll need some infrastructure to do this. I think step one, even though it's gonna get things mighty germy, is... Uh, they're gonna walk by this anyway. Uh, even though it's gonna get things mighty germy, we're gonna like do something like this. At a, I did do it as a priority nine, didn't I? Um, we'll, we'll live with that. Then we're gonna dig this out as a priority nine. And once all the water from there is drained, oh man, the circuits are still overloading to an enormous degree. What do you lack? It's, it's always water, right? We have 5.6 tons of water. You're going to figure it out. I got nothing but the utmost faith. Have we hooked our grid back up? Is it functional? Seems to be. Might be a little bit better. 1.92 kilowatts is still... Too much coming out of here. Um, how much is consumed here? Potential power, 270. All right, I think I, I think I sort of, I, the thing, I want to put like these fridges on it. It might just be that we don't, we need four grids instead of three. But I can come close. 240 does take us slightly too high. But I think that that would mitigate it. We'd have like no fudge factor. But some of these are not on at all times. Like the mush, uh, micro musher is not on at all times. So, Hook it up like so. And then we need to disconnect the middle grid from these two refrigerators. So that would, I think, we need to disconnect us from the other side. So I think we got to go at a priority nine. And I get that this is probably a little frustrating to watch, but. Cut that. And then run. Just a mess of wires. Like this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna look a little, little silly. In my mind, when that's done, that's as close as we can get. Cause our hydrogen hydrogen generator is gonna have one kilowatt, and it's gonna be. Having a potential power drain of 1.1 kilowatts. Or 1.01 .01 kilowatts. You need to build these. These ones need to get built. They need to get built, like, real quick. Are we out of copper? I don't think so. I don't think we're out of copper. You're going to figure it out. I got the utmost faith in you. You're going to figure it out. It's not like RimWorld. The batteries don't get discharged when something like this happens. There's still a problem here. This needs to be... Yeah, you're still connected here. This needs to be broken. Add a priority nine, please. Give it a sec. It's cumbersome. And I know I've said this for five episodes in a row here. I think we're making our way out of power hell. Let me look at my grid real quick. Still... Bad... 1.01 kill. He's doing the math. He's done the math properly. Um, yeah, so we essentially just need another grid in order to make sure that our circuits never get overloaded. Or we could do it all over in uh, 
Big wires wherever plausible, but I, I'm happy with this for now, believe it or not. Even though our circuits are probably still going to overload. I think... Oh, no, no, no. I've made a colossal mistake here as well. Um, this should be... Extremely tiled, please. I'm still seeing overloaded circuits. And again, I don't think it does anything for us to just replace them with heavy wires right now. Um, because it's just going to push the overload to a different area. But... At least I know for a, for a second colony. That's the thing, is I, I think there's a temptation for me, and I won't say for other people, but definitely for me. I wouldn't be surprised if it's, uh, if it's fairly common. Uh, there's a temptation for me to just... Ah, it's all gone to heck. Just screw it, you know? I'm gonna start over. I made one mistake. It's not perfect. But the only way we can get better at the mistakes that we're inevitably gonna make uh, once we get later into our colony is to deal with stuff like this. So... You know, I, I think rather than just scrapping the whole project once we see that it's uh, a little bit messed up, uh, it, it's much more appropriate for us to try to not necessarily suggest that, like, it's an easy problem to work through, but that by going through this tough stuff, uh, we'll be stronger and, and better able to deal with these problems when they show up later. Certainly, you know, as, as always, we still continue to have a problem with this transformer. That was a goofy build, and I accept that. Um, get these ladders built, because we are, uh, we're working here. And once we get a, a deeper, or is it shallower, I guess, in this case. Once we get a shallower sort of um, build for contaminated water here, I like our position. Stress is coming up. I think we want to do a uh, dig, dig, dig. I don't really care about that copper. Just wash when you leave. I just want to make sure he didn't wash when he left. Did you notice that he did not wash? Do you also notice that we have no power to the middle of our base or the bottom of our base? And this battery is now empty. Hmm. Alright. But that being said, the, the counter-argument, and I think it's uh, abundantly clear, the counter-argument to what I just said about, you know, having to deal with hard stuff so that you, uh, you, you learn what you're doing, um, the counter-argument is definitely... You can be past the point of, of a r of colony being sustainable, I think. We might be there. But this is, uh, this is what the learning process is all about. So this is going to take water in. We want to output that water to a water sieve. And then we want to put that water sieve to dump the water back in here. Or even in here. But because it pulls from here in the first place for almost all of our water-related needs. It, like All of the polluted water is being created on this circuit. So I think we should dump it into the same system. Um... So build that with the priority nine. You're probably not going to finish it today, and that's okay. To even start it is a, is a privilege. Why is your stress so high? I got it. And also, where are you? Now this frightens me because there is coal being dumped into. How is it possible that you don't have power? I've, I've done something colossal here. It looks like you have an energy surplus. It's because you're only getting batter... <laughs> batter. It's because you're only getting power from this battery, and these guys aren't pumping. So yeah, we've created our own problem again here. Because the uh, electrolyzer gets power from our hydrogen grid only, um, we have created a conundrum. So this is what I was worried about happening. Uh, and to some extent, I'm happy it happened because it vindicated us. But to another extent, I'm sad it happened because we knew it could have happened. <laughs> So let's just, I mean, I really would like you to get that done tonight. But I know I recognize I've also made about 20 things a priority nine. So I'm going to say that it's probably unlikely. But we're going to make that like our last, uh, our last goal for this episode. 
We continue to be playing uh, in remediation. We're focusing on some positives. You know, our next water system is getting started. And I'm happy about that. Uh, but our stress is coming up a little bit. And the colony is sort of starting to circle the drain. We've done some good things on this episode, though. We picked up some coal. Uh, we've, we've continued to hack away at our power problems. Although they... Building broken? That makes sense. Although they are, are definitely not getting better. In fact, I've made them worse by disabling that bridge. Um, unpowered. That's a priority nine. But you're unpowered because the, the wire's broken over there, right? So that should be like an implicit priority nine. Yeah. All right. You functional again? No, huh? Please build it. Please build it. Just would like you to... Like you to... Really like you to build... Says, Thank you. Okay, so now we can start building up this battery again because there's going to be hydrogen getting into here. Oh, and the lights come on in the bottom half of the base. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. 998 grams of water remaining scares me a great deal. But apart from that, still having a good time trying to fix our problems here. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your tips. And I'll see you next time.